The knowledge about Jesus Christ that somebody who does not even know Christ, who does not even know Christ, who does not even know scriptures, who taught you during your confirmation time, taught you whatever he knew, you still part the streets with the same information. He himself did not know. Yet we just move on. We, we, we worship in the church. Yet we really don't know what the church is all about. That's why we struggle. We don't know Chris. This is the story. In our elementary, that's class five. Class five, what? Class five, right? Elementary, what? How do you call it here? Grade one. Three grade? I don't know. What is three grade for what? Let me tell you, most of you may know. In class five, primary school in Africa, one of my teachers said that a train. When a train is moving on its rails and it meets just a little pin or a coin on its rails, that that pin may that that train may what may derail because of that little pin. Did somebody tell you that? Yes. You don't hear it? You heard it too? Oh my goodness. The day I the time I went to the I left the city and went to Duwala where I saw trains. That knowledge came back to my mind and I looked at the train. I thought of the pin. I realized this part of my teacher did not even know anything about what? Train. How can a coin or a pin, a nail derail what? That big, that big one. Train. General knowledge. You know what? When I saw the train, I said, this teacher did not know. Maybe he had never loved the village. He had seen the train only in the picture. So maybe somebody told him to. And that, that's how we believe. That's how we live as Christians. We only we, we stand on what somebody told us. I was told that help and help those who help out themselves. Where is it said in scriptures? Oh, what did he say? <laughs> no scriptures says that. Yeah, oh, yeah. It, said, it is said in scriptures that uh, when you go to Rome, do as one. Do as Romans do. It's a lie. No way. Nowhere. No I want to know him. I want to know Christ. Amen. What should I know him? He's a wonderful being. I hear that he walked upon water. Wow. I should come closer and know him. He's so worthy to be known. Amen. I've known him, but yet I want to know him more. Amen. The more you know him, the more you become like him. That's how, that, that's my aspiration. That the more I know him, the more I will witness for him. I will not preach what somebody told me. I will preach and I will teach what he has revealed Amen. to me from scripture. Amen. Did you hear that he he was born of a virgin? Wow! Born of a virgin. This person has to do what? I really have to go to and know him. How can somebody go by? By virgin. This person should be known. And the more I know him, the more I begin to see the glory of God revealed to me. Wonderful aspiration. How can this Jesus be the Lamb of God? The Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And in the other hand, is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Yes. Wow! Yes. I should know him. Yes. I should not remain with the elementary knowledge of him. Nice. I have to know him. I want to go because I know him more. I want to spend more time in knowing him. Lion? Lamb? Put the two. Put the two. <laughs> He's a lamb. He's a lion. This man, he is 100% man, 100% who? God. God. I should know him. That's right. Wow. That's right. We are in church. If you decide to know him, our Bible studies will be filled. That's true. What do you want to know in church? What do you want to know? Want to know more about me? The color of my, my coat? No. No. <laughs> What do you want to know in church? 
What do you want to know as a Christian? The problem with the person of Jesus Christ started even in the days of Jesus Christ. Because in Matthew chapter 16, verse 13, Jesus Christ asked the disciples, Whom do people say? I am. The disciples say, Yeah. Some say, You are John, John, no, John the Baptist. Some say, You are Elijah. Some say, You are Jeremiah. Or some just say, You are one of the prophets. Oh, really? I don't want to say, Yeah, I don't want to say. What do, you, what do you say that I am? Who am I to you? Simon said, You are the Messiah, the Son, the Living God. It's a revelation. It's what? It's a revelation. Jesus Christ comes in, in, in Matthew chapter 11, verse 6, he says, Blessed is anyone who does not fall on account of me. Many are falling on account of who he is, even in the church. Jesus Christ God, whoa, was I there? <laughs> That's how they say it. That's terrible. That's why the church is growing weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker each day. I want to know this man who says, Come on to me, all you will level and I have a little. And I will give you rest. I thought that coming to America I will have rest. I've had all the troubles in my life. When I came to America, all the stress. But it's knowing Jesus. I want to know Him. Oh my God. And He tells us in Matthew chapter 11, verse 27, He says, No one knows the Father but the Son. No one knows the Son but the Father. But they choose to whom. They may reveal themselves to. So knowing him is a revelation. He said, say, God, reveal more of yourself to me. I want to know him and the power of his what? His resurrection. I want to know him. I want to know the power of his resurrection. Not the power of the wisdom. Amen. Power 